Hello and welcome back to my channel guys, I'm your host Nobody and today we're going back to Instruments of Destruction. So in the last episode, I built this little Willis Jeep. I decided to make another build video for you guys today. So I was thinking, what could be more iconic than a Willis Jeep? And it kind of struck me all of a sudden. I was just perusing YouTube, trying to relax a little bit, and then I saw this. A Mario Kart. And so I figured, you know, hey, that's pretty damn iconic. So initially I wasn't even gonna build a Mario Kart. I was actually gonna build the house from up. However, turns out this Willis Jeep here, if you look up here, it's actually getting scarily close to the build limit of this game. I figured if I would have gone ahead and done what I initially planned on doing, which was build the house from up, I surely was gonna break that build limit. So without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get into the build.
guys while well, i finally finished it took me quite a bit of time i think about three hours again every single build that i've made is about three hours long so let's go ahead and spawn this guy in now he looks fairly simple and his build limit was not too uh high uh however this guy was by far the most tedious little guy that i had to make so far uh, a lot of trial and error with this thing so as we can see you know it's relatively close to uh the mario kart it's at least as close as i can get with the build limit it does move pretty okay uh, the wheels had a lot of glitching issues during the build process. We can turn on a dime though. Yeah, the back wheels just kind of kicked up like that. So I know it looks like there's quite a bit of controls here. Uh, it's a lot simpler than what it looks. I don't know why there's all these controls here, but if we go ahead and just line up with one of these buildings, we can go ahead and try out the arrow keys. Boom, the sides pop out just like that and revealing two pretty powerful cannons inside. Now all we got to do from this point is just hit one and hold it. And yeah, we have automatic cannons that have zero delay. They will explode on contact, and that would be pretty damn potent. Yeah, that building did not stand a chance. So all we got to do is hit the uh, bottom key here, the bottom arrow, to pull those things right back in. But that's not it. We have one more weapon. Uh, it was kind of hard fitting a whole lot of armament onto such a tiny frame, but I managed to try some different things with this build that I haven't normally played around with, and that is glitching parts into themselves. So if we go ahead and hit E, we have what seems to be just two lasers. However, there's at least eight lasers actually meshed together here, and you can see they just very quickly destroy the foundation of all these buildings very, very quickly. Now this uh, contraption, this cart even, is not the easiest to control. But pretty much just like that, we have almost every single building crumbling at their knees. There we go. And yeah, I'd say that's pretty uh, satisfying. Now, it kind of looks like that we have one building left over. It looks like it might be separated, but we're going to try it anyway. Let's go ahead and hit E. And yeah, okay, it was actually separated, but it just, for whatever reason, stayed planted. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the build today. It was definitely a lot more complicated than what I first anticipated this build would be. If you liked the build, consider leaving a like, letting me know that you guys did enjoy the build, and that will let me know that you guys want to see more Instruments of Destruction content. And with that, guys, I will see you all in the next one.